Louisiana Beer Reviews. Today we are looking at Ballast Point Victory by Sea Barrel Age. This is a 12% alcohol. It says that it is barrel age. It doesn't say for how long. And whiskey and rye barrels. High West. By High West. Okay. Victory at Sea. Imperial Porter. Oh, coffee and vanilla flavors. It didn't say coffee and vanilla. It said coffee and vanilla flavors. flavors. Aged in High West bourbon and rye barrels. I see High West whiskey at like Walmart. Mm -hmm. There's a skeleton struggling with uh, bad weather. Right. So anyway, 12%. this beer is a special addition to the regular uh, porter that they put out. Which Victory. the regular one is just as good. It's a 10, I think, or a 10.2. Victory at Sea, yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a real good one. Uh, we got this particular uh, brand in uh, probably about a year or so ago, maybe a year plus. And it's always blazing off the shelves. You go to your specialty beer stores, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. And some places don't buy it. So, I don't know if it's because of rarities or what's going on. No, I, I don't see it in my town. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and pop this one open and see what it tastes like. We're using our Church's, opener from Church's, Church's Sacred, Sacred Brews, courtesy of Pupple Mike Peters. He goes by Pupple, not Mike. Thanks, Papa. Oh, that was Thanks, a nice Papa. hiss and a lot of smoke. Yeah, lots of smoke. Uh, I'm assuming that I haven't seen this one in the city, so I'm assuming this is a fresh one. So we'll see. It's pouring like it's a porter. Nice and thin. Yeah. Not thick. Thin. A stout would be thick. Right. Porter's thin. Stout porter is thick. I almost bought some stout porter today. I almost bought some... Uh, Guinness Imperial Foreign, uh, foreign Extra Stout. You almost said Foreign Corn. Yeah, Foreign Extra Stout. They had it for $8.99. I almost at, said Foreign Corn. $8.99 at Doormats, which is not a bad price. Um, okay. So the noticeable changes that you can see about these, and you got more, uh, is the fact that the, the label's black on this one, the other one's white. Yeah. The background. San Diego, California. Let's see if I can find a date, guys. Because I found a date on the other two beers we had. Oh, here I'm, we go. I'm not really interested in a date because I know this is fresh. It was packaged on October 1st, 2018. It was packaged the same month we're doing the video. Yeah, <laughs> so this is super fresh. We just got it. Today's the... 27 days old. Yeah. At the time of this recording. Today's the 28th, so we just got it. I've never had this one. This um, been the victory at sea. Yeah, I had... I, haven't had this one either. So it's a barrel age, so you know, we, we know what to expect. It's gonna be big alcohol and wasn't that a TV show that used to come on years ago, Victory at Sea? Like an old World War II documentary series about naval warfare. Yeah, I think so. So if you smell it. Now wait, the appearance is just black. Yeah. Nearly nearly black. Essentially black. Yeah, it's a little brown where the light hits the edges. Yeah, so this would be a, considered like a nut brown. Nut brown, maybe like the blackest deep black brown you could ever conceive of. You finished? Yes. This is considered to be a nut brown because it's not black. If you can look up and see brown in it, which I can see. Yes. It's like, like Coca-Cola without ice. You can see that. And that head is beige. It's a beige head. It's, it's, it's thin, but... Porters are, th porters are thin, again. Now, you smell it. What kind of nuts? Brazil nuts? What are you, what are you talking about? You know, when people get the Brazil nuts. All right. Yeah. We had a nickname for those. But anyway, now, um, I thought that was the name of them until I was over. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's got a little rum or whatever barrels, whatever, not rum. I could smell a vanilla. Barrel. Barrel. Yeah. A little bit of coffee. <clears throat> I didn't pick that up. Uh, maybe. Think of, think of, think of like iced coffee. Not maybe. Iced coffee's got that maltose to it. Maybe. I'm really just picking up like dark roasted malt and like a little liquor. I'm getting a liquor. You can smell that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and taste it. All right, good idea. 
taste of coffee. It's oh coffee. yeah, you can really taste the coffee. <laughs> it's coffee. Yeah. It's coffee like black coffee. And so the if vanilla. you don't like straight black coffee, you're not gonna like this one. And I get the vanilla, the vanilla and on, the cream. on a back note, the cream which and is the FBI. Toast. Um the APV, yeah. Ooh, it's warming. Is it warm yet? I feel like it's warming me. A little bit, man. Um, it's warming. It's definitely a good beer. Now, it does seem to have a little bit heavier body than one would expect with a port. Yes. It's quite it interesting. It seems like a stout would... body to me. Yeah, it's interesting how they got this to mimic a stout, and the body is just, you're looking at it, it's just, it's thin, like. It's not as thin as I was expecting. I was expecting it to be thinner. Well, if you look at this and you kind of swirl it around a little bit, it, looks like, it looks like we're drinking Coca-Cola. To me. But Coca Cola is a little clear, you know. You can kind of see through Coke. No, no, I can see. I can see the brown. This is again. This is a nut brown. You can see that it's brown. It's a little nut. Um, yeah. It, there's a little velvet. But it's yeah. a little velvety in the taste. You know, in the mouth, a little velvety, slick. You're not thirsty, are you? I don't think I drink enough water today. No. Um. Oh, twelve percent. I tell you what, for that price, three ninety nine. That is a good beer, and I've been getting a lot of really good coffee, vanilla. Three ninety nine. Barrel it's low age. flavor. Yeah. It's twelve percent. That's more than double what you expect on a regular beer. Oh, much more than double. This really. is this has got lots of coffee, vanilla. You can taste the whatever it is they aged this in. Because it says bourbon and or rye. And rye, not and or. Right. So, don't and know if they mixed it, if we're dealing with a rye or a bourbon. Probably high west bourbon. High west, high west rye. And, um, no, I can't say it's way more than double because I usually drink Keystone Ice, which is 5.9. So, this is about double what I'm used to drinking. Keystone Ice at 5.9 is more than a regular beer. A regular beer is 5% alcohol. Yeah, or 4.55. Yeah, okay. You, oh, you, you okay? Right at five. I'm saying more than double what I regu regularly drink. Uh, hey, the mouth fi it finishes kind of like medium dry. It's like medium wet dry. It's malty, almost like if you went to Burger King and you had a, a chocolate malt. It has some of those. I mean, you know, more high quality, obviously, but um. You just you're searching for that malt. I can barely get it. No, I, I'm getting it. Barely get it. <laughs> I, 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 I see what you're talking about, but that's some that's that note. I, I think is more coming from the coffee, not any kind of a malt or anything. Yeah, it? I think it's a dessert beer. This you would drink it after dinner as a nightcap. And you could pair it with like some really, really dark chocolate type. This item. has, it's not sweet though. Not too sweet. It's almost like a semi-sweet. It's... If you ever had like semi-sweet chocolate, it's bitter. Yeah, right. So like this is... chocolate, yeah. When you drink, just think of coffee, it's semi-sweet chocolate. You ever had you that? you get that and then you get, you get the alcohol punch behind it. Yeah, but I, I think there's a lot of cream. Like if you had coffee with cream, but no sugar. Well, they probably did inject some maltose or something into this to to kind of even cream, it out. Creamy. Like you ever had? The, there's a coffee brand made by Riley Foods, Louisiana. It's called RT. RT is kind of expensive these days, but I used to buy it years ago. That is like the blackest, dark roast coffee you could ever find. Mm -hmm. Coffee and chicory. It's like just intense and I used to drink it all the time and this was making me think of RT maybe they used Riley Foods coffee I don't know I, hmm. I didn't research this on their website because as, as it's coming down you could see it's a brown yeah oh look at all that sediment oh no I'm sorry that's a shadow <laughs> yeah <laughs> I saw what you were looking at and I thought man is this like cowboy coffee 
Like yeah. we're gonna have the coffee at the bottom of the yeah, barrel. That's a that's an optical illusion. Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. All right. Well, but I'll say this. I mean, I'm kidding around and stuff, but uh, it's not really a booze bomb. I'm not over here feeling like, oh man, what happened? Where am I doing? Right. What am I doing? It's nothing like that. I'm not having to like be careful with what I'll say to try to avoid slurring or anything like that. It's just. So what are you trying to say? No, no I'm not having to do that. <laughs> um, do you just like this beer? I think I it's an A+. Plus. It's an outstanding beer, A+. I plus. think it's an A+. Plus too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he might, but I didn't. All right. I'll give it an A+. Plus. I think it's outstanding. Very close to world class. Yeah. Very close to I'll world class. I'll that. I'll buy that. Yeah. Oh, man, I forgot to take a photo. No photos now. Oh, no, well. I, gotta say I know. We could open a KBS and put it in there and tell everyone. Hey, <laughs> they believe it. Yeah. Somebody would make the it's comment. Sitting on and then somebody four, would make the comment. There's no mistake in KBS. Uh, you just know it's that when you see it. And I'm like, oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You sure? <laughs> All right, anyway. So another winner from a company that, to me, puts out a lot of winners. Oh, yeah. They, they do a lot of good things. That's just, was it Sculpin IPA? It's very good too. I love they, that. They they put a grapefruit variant out that I've had. Oh uh, yeah, I love Sculpin. Really good. Um, Dynamite. They, they put a Pilsner out too, which is pretty good. Put out all kind of stuff. Yeah. Ballast point. All right. So anyway, les les bon temps les. If you love like really great beer and for and not if you like espresso, you'll like this. Yeah, and for not that much of of price when you consider what you're getting. We're gonna no, it's, and you know what? I got it at a beer specialty store, which you pay a little bit more money at a beer specialty Yeah, but they didn't store. try to hit you up on it. No. Actually, they give me a military discount because I'm ex-military. Golly gee. So, I don't know what it is. But it's, it's always it's always a, sh uh, you know, a shave off the bill. Okay. We're good, guys. I got this at the 504 Craft Beer Reserve. I'll go ahead and give them a plug right now. Jason's a good guy. He waited on me last night. Uh, and Patrick is also his partner there, and they have a silent partner, which I won't say. But anyway, they're they're co-owners of the of the place, and they've been open for quite a bit now, and they've really stepped it up. So, if ever you're in New Orleans, go to and you find yourself down on Tulane Avenue near Carrollton. That's right. Check out the Five Hundred Four Craft Beer Reserve near Carrollton. Yeah. They don't have a beer in it that, that that you don't like, and you don't like beer. Oh uh, yeah, their their selection is exquisite. Yeah, they're, they're, if you have any questions, they 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 are quite knowledgeable. He's, they they worked in bars and breweries, and so they've got quite the quite the PhD on the alcohol per se. Yeah, we have the PhD on tasting it. All right, and so lazy, lazy. right? Yeah, right. So. <laughs> Les Les Bon Temps Relais, and we're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana, to Jefferson Parish in particular. Of course.